I just come on to the last stage of this section of the walk. Here you can see some rowberry trees here, part of the Warren, and there was a turning back there if you want to go that side. And there's another turn in a minute where you go that side. But there's the hill fort is still up there, right? And it's been very wild where I've just walked. Um, I've just readjusted my hair because every bramble seemed to be catching it. I've had to tie it up tighter and um, put the ponytail so it covers the back of my neck. It does actually add a bit of protection for my neck. Um, I've got my hat, like I said, I'll be putting it on at some point. We're not, we're, we've still got lots of shade here. There's loads of area of shade. But we'll be coming out to our junction point in a minute where we see the tall trees of a drove. All explored. I've been exploring this place now for oh, quite a long time now. Good 12 to 15 years. Have you? Yeah. And especially when I got a bus pass. See, there's a bit of shade here. You can feel the difference when you're in the shade. It's gorgeous. We're nearly at the top there now. But it has been quite wild and it'll get wilder because there's rain forecast tomorrow. On top of all this beautiful sunshine, photosynthesis will be going crazy. But it's nice to have these little oases. This is a good reason to do this walk. If you do this walk in the summer, start off in the shady area. So you've had um, lots of shade. And then you've got the really hot bit at the end. But of course I do like my bones being thoroughly warmed up. There's something about extreme heat that I, I can't explain it why I like it. Um, I don't know, it must, it must be something going back in time or something. Um, we have got a bit of a rocky route up in a minute. Right, here's a, another little path. In there, you can't see it, but there's an old kiln. They do block things off sometimes to stop people ruining um, artifacts. You, there might be a path in a minute where you could go in, in and look inside it. There's another path you can join to go round the road, Barrow Warren. The main joint junction is a little bit further up here yet. And it's uh, thinning out a bit here. Yeah, it's like a jungle at the moment, isn't it? So we're heading for a junction point. At the foot of the hill fort from the east side of the Roebury Hill Fort, Dolbury Warren Hill Fort, um, where there's choices where you want to go. There's, we'll be crossing past the parade a bit later on, not much longer actually, but that is a very, very exposed area. And I have, well, when I was, don't forget I was younger as well, I've walked in that heat, climbing that. I do tend to avoid, I have got a bit of a climb at the end of this, in a couple of hours time, when I have to go up towards the trig point, but it's, it's, um, it, the shade, you don't, you can go straight up out of the shade, but I'll take the shade route, and, um, and you can just gently go up it, 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 it sort of undulates. But that won't be well. And once we get up there, it's called the turn. The turn is where we've, we've done the hike one way and we're turning around to come back on a circular hike.
and I do these videos as well for later on I do like to see them again um, especially when I couldn't get out here easily um, right I'm going to turn off again folks junction point's not far away just doing snippets over and out right folks we've just come up a shaded area lots and lots of shade a bit bumpy to the gate area where we get entering the area the open area of outstanding beauty all of this is area of outstanding beauty we still got shade there will be trees as we make our way across there will be trees and I've got my hat ready but we've still got some shade so I said I wouldn't put my hat on until we're definitely out I won't need it on a lot there's going to be areas in a minute there if there's an open bit I'll have to wear it then and then we've got the gate is it easy to undo? yeah oh they don't make it that easy do they? Oh, shit. Right, hold on a minute. I wonder why they've done it like that. I'm just turning off. Right, leaving the gated area, which is down there, look. So we're leaving Dolbury Warren now, and Robera Warren. We're skirting the area of outstanding beauty. All this is outstanding beauty, by the way. If you just kept on this track and didn't go off, I've got to turn off in a minute, but if you just kept on this track for a good half an hour or, or 20 minutes, it depends how fast you walk, you will take you all the way down the track and a lane to Burrington Coombe, where there used to be a cafe. I don't know if there is anymore, but, um, but if you're going to do what I'm going to do, we're going to branch off and then when we get to a little wooded copse I'm going to have another drink of water and another quick rest because we then got to go across an exposed area for about a quarter of an hour so I'm just going to prepare myself for that then we'll be doing a windy path skirting Barrington Coombe all the way to the other side of the Black Down Hills or Black Hills, whatever they're called, before we have to climb up to the trick point. Um, when it will be at its peak, the heat. By the time I'm at the trick point, it could be absolutely baking. The time now is 25 minutes past 11. We left the car park about 11 o'clock. I was quite pleased with that. So to get to the stage and a nice steady pace, it's taken an hour, nearly an hour and a half. But that's taking it steady, no rushing, no marching. And with a couple of small breaks and taking photos and things like that. I never really know where to go, but everyone seems to be going this way. Um, like I said, there's, there are areas of exposure. So we put the hat on. That's it. I could have walked through that muddy bit, but I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered really. Although it was shaded. See, it's quite muddy there. It's quite lush for the plants, really, knowing that there is, the soil is quite damp in places. Like even here, it's not bone dry. The ferns are looking lush. And the trees, they're enjoying this uh, temperate climate we've got. And we haven't had lots of hot weather, by the way. We haven't had lots of hot weather. Now, in a minute, we'll come to a fork, which I will branch off to. And it takes us to a little copse. It's a little picnic area, really. But I always forget if it's this one or the next one. 
I don't know why. Do you know why? I always do it, even though I always say, which one is it? And I always forget. Do you? Yeah. I sometimes think it's this one, because there's a copse, and I think it is this one. Yeah. Now, if you carry on round there and keep going, you can go to Burrington. And I've done that, and then you can climb up through. The, it'd be very, very overgrown. I would do that in the winter, which I did do. You can climb up parts of Barrington Coombe. So, we'll just take a picture here. That's it. And it's, it's like a little triangle here, if you just remember that. As a reference point. I mean, some people just follow their GPS. I like to do my own stuff. I haven't worked out the GPS on the car yet. Uh, that will come when I've got time to sit and fiddle with it and do it, you know. Um, I have to learn myself because and people can show you and give you some hints and that's all I would want because I won't remember it all if someone does it. They'd have to go through it again and again for it to sink in. Whereas if I do it myself I can remember quicker. This is a, you can imagine this area, can't you, in the winter, if it is very wet, um, this would be quite flooded and you'd have to negotiate getting across it. Well, the climate change is happening. They've written there's parts of Spain that are going to be turned into deserts. I don't know if it's called Seville. There's somewhere over there. It's a big holiday place, but they reckon it's getting so bad that it could be a desert in, within a few years. Now here we've got an area we've got to try and cross. So there's a stone there. It doesn't matter if we get a little bit. If we start getting bitten, I'll have to put the um, spray on, which I'm not doing because it, it, in, it uh, simulates my hay fever. It, it gives me an asthma um, problems. But really, I should have it on, around my feet, at least. And I need to tuck my socks in soon. I haven't done it yet, because it's adding cool air. This is where we're going to stop again. On the track. We're just going to stop here. Have another slurp of water. Right. Turning off for a minute. 